What up, world? It's Sunrise Soup for the Spirit and Soul. This is Motivation New Morgano. I'm coming to y'all. Y'all saw me do all the self-image awareness. I'm gonna show y'all how simple the first steps in understanding your, your conscious, subconscious, understanding your self-image. And what I did and what countless other people have done Look at all the successful people. They're not successful because they just want money or they want likes. No, they're successful because they change it up here. You become a millionaire in your mind before you even touch a million dollars. You become a college graduate. Callan Kaepernick, when he was seven, he wrote that he played for San Fran. So I'm gonna just give a, a quick rundown of what my mentor, Mr. Bob Proctor, shared with me in regards to psycho-cybernetics understanding the uh, self-image, the conscious mind and the subconscious mind, um, and how to change your results instead of trying to change your results. So, psycho-cybernetics, self-image, paradigms, you hear me talk about those all the time. Psycho-cybernetics is actually the study of New Neural Pathways, uh, authored by the name of Maxwell Maltz. Great book, you should check it out. Um, let me break down what, what cybernetics is in, in regards to uh, us and how we change our self-image. The cybernetics, is, the definition of a cybernetics is a uh, it's auto adjusting device that is found in animals and some machines. So let me give you let me give you a picture. Let me look up. It's airplanes. Airplanes got this thing called autopilot. Uh, rockets that go out of NASA, autopilot. The autopilot has a cybernetic system in it. Like you set the autopilot to go from VA or DC to LA, 90% of the time that pilot is on autopilot. They may run into some, some turbulent weather and it, it gets off course. It's going LA to VA to DC, then it goes up and gets off course. The autopilot is gonna kick back in and it's gonna tell the plane that it needs to get back and it's gonna come right back to course until it gets to its destination. And that's the same thing Anybody that has thermostats, anybody that has a refrigerator with a uh, auto uh, temperature system in it. Like if your thermostat is set to be on 70 degrees and some windows are open or the door is open and it drops, if it's on auto, it's gonna kick a signal to your furnace and it's gonna heat up until it get the 70 degrees. Go to 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. That's a cybernetic system. So I say all that, I hope I could paint it a picture, picture of just understanding the word cybernetics, but definitely check out the book by Maxwell Moltz, 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 Psycho-Cybernetics. We have a cybernetic system in us and it's, it's, it's our, our subconscious mind. It's our unconscious mind, it's our the, the person that they said uh, you, that makes up your personality, your characteristics, your self-image. That's what this whole thing is about, your self-image. And we develop that based off of our current environment and the things that we subject ourselves to over and over and over again. And a lot of people don't heard my story about six years to six days growing up in the hood, single mom, father, locked up. Um, no real male role models that I mean I, I look back on my life like I grew up in a environment that wasn't conducive to being a millionaire or billionaire but that doesn't mean anything it's not gonna stop me I'm not like I'm, I'm here now I'm alive I, I know stuff I know a lot of stuff so my brother went through the same environment he college graduate all-star track the things that we go through and the things that we choose to do over and over 
again, di dictate and determine who our self-image is. And the thing about it is, between the ages of zero and five, you have no choice over what you can accept or reject. Let me repeat that. Between zero and five, your conscious mind doesn't exist. There's no, I, I should do this, this is wrong. That's why we tell children, like I have my one year old, you tell them like they do what they wanna do. They know in this life they, we're supposed to get what we want and they do exactly what they want. That's why you tell them no and they go right back at it. They go right back at it. But if you knew that they are only, they don't know right from wrong, bad or good. They just know, you know what, I want that. I want to touch that. I want to see that. I want to learn that. As studies say that a child hears 40,000 no's before he hit the age of five. 40 thousand no's before they hit their age of five. So if you're made up, if your paradigms are a bunch of habits that you hear, see, and do, we become accustomed to no's. We become accustomed to letdowns. So in order to break that, after the age of five you and you go through adolescent age and you go through teenage years you start to think for yourself you start you, you can choose what you want to do once you start to choose and do the things that you actually like doing that makes you happy you're gonna do them and you do them over and over and over again and those create your habitual habits those are the things that create your paradigms that's all it is a paradigm like once you learn how to make money, you get your first job. I don't care if it's selling newspapers. I don't care if it's a call center. Once you get your first job and you know how to earn your first dollar, you can earn a million dollars. But you have to know what a millionaire does to earn a million dollars. Like I grew up around drug dealers, crackheads. Y'all knew what it was like to work regular manual label jobs, but I didn't know what millionaires do. I know what they do now. And all I had to do is do that. And that's all I did. But it's not just about the millionaires and the money. That's, that's awesome, but you, there's other success habits, like believing in the unseen, like because none of this that I'm talking about, I, I ever thought would come to true, come to pass. But I, I chose to do certain things, getting up early, reading books, making videos, uh, learning, learning new stuff about picture editing, content editing, social media, and now I'm on my way to be a millionaire. Like, nobody can tell me, I, yo, I can say it over and over and over again with the utmost. I'm, and I'm, I'm, a, I'm a man of God that can say I'm on my way to be a millionaire because it's the service that I'm doing. So I digress, that's a little backstory in regards to my change and my self image. But the way I did it is by choosing to accept or reject certain things and only focus my energy, focus my energy on the things that were pertinent to my mission. My mission is to leave a legacy, legacy, legacy for my children's children. And in order to do that, the certain things that I gotta get change mentally, spiritually, and physically. Because one, one of my mentors, Bob Proctor, he says that we're spiritual beings with the intellect and a physical body. All right, let me say that one more time. We're spiritual beings with an intellect in a physical body. So understanding all that, like I said, you have to do things that is conducive to your body. You have to do things that you like. If you enjoy, like some people don't like waking up early. I didn't, I used to always say I'm not a, a morning person. 